the lower parts of Keo South, that is uh, Soy South, Soy North Wards, which are below the escarpments. We have been, uh, we've been experiencing a lot of challenges for children from these vulnerable uh, areas in accessing foodstuffs because of the logistics in the area. Secondly, also, we, we have a challenge of uh, terrain where these schools are actually not served with uh, road networks. So with this particular staff uh, support in terms of foodstuffs, it will go a long way in uh, alleviating and also pushing uh, the standards of uh, education, especially for our children. Because today children receive food, then we can be sure that uh, there, there will be a, a translating effect to performance. Child Welfare Society of Kenya, Elge Marakwet County and Elge Marakwet Branch is going to serve today 6,000 and 500 children within 26 schools. They are going to benefit from lunches, which is an initiative that has been started by Child Welfare Society of Kenya, CEO, Madam Irene Mreidi, in partnership with the area MP, Mr. Gideon Kimayo. The foodstuffs that we have is rice, we have got green grams, which is Thoroko, we have got cowpeas, which is also Thoroko. We have got maize, we have got cooking fat, and we also have got Tivo. Tivo books are books that are spiritual because our children will get education, they will be fed, and they will also need to know about God who is their creator. Uh, this will be able to ensure that uh, all our children day schools are able to concentrate. Once they report in school in the morning, they are sure, they are sure of uh, getting uh, uh, lunch and from the, the food material they are going to be distributed in schools, it's going to be not only a lunch but uh, balanced diet, which is going to have an impact on the mental health and development of our learners.